It is May 8th. I can't be right. But I'm looking at my calendar and it looks right to me. Eesh. A little windy today. So yesterday, you know, it gets up to like barely uh, almost 100 degrees here. And then uh, uh, to, and then it, it gets like really super windy and, and cold this morning and everything. I'd even have to turn the swamp clear on today. And uh, I saw a picture of some place that it was snowing up, up north somewhere. I'm like, what is this nonsense? Anyways, uh, I wanted to just take a few few minutes to talk about thankfulness. Um, I tell you, what, I think I have the hardest uh, time being thankful for the wind. I hate the wind. It causes it where you can't breathe and everything. Ugh! I could complain about that all day. Just kidding. That's that's a joke because I'm talking about thankfulness. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Um, that's that's the part I really want to focus on. Forget not all his benefits. See, sometimes, especially when we're going through things that are personally um, troubling for us, we have a hard time uh, remembering to be thankful. Or maybe things start to build up over time, and it just starts to wear you down, where you're, okay, this went wrong, then this went wrong. Or maybe you're just having a bad day, where you wake up, and it seems like everything's going wrong, or you turn on the news and it seems like everything's wrong, or you go online, or whatever. Uh, it seems like you're just flooded with, you know, this bad stuff happening, this bad news, um, bad situations. And um, then in Psalm 103, we just have this real nice, this real nice reminder: Hey, don't forget the benefits. And uh, you could do a few things. First off, look at it like this: lob off the his benefits and just. Benefits. Okay, now let me get to this. Think about the good things that are happening on your life. Don't don't think about when when you say God's benefits. You you so there's something in your head that says only talking about salvation. And I'm not trying to minimize how great salvation is, but I'm saying there's a lot to be thankful for. And once you realize that all the blessings that are in your life are a gift from God, then by by taking off that word there, forget not all his benefits, we can now put it back in with that bigger understanding that there's a lot to be thankful for. You know, um, so let, let's keep going and see some of the things that it mentions. In verse 3, it starts up talking about um, salvation. Uh, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. So this isn't just about salvation anymore. This is about blessings that he shows us in life. Redeems your life from the pit, brings you up from, from bad places. Have you ever been in a bad place and just been in prayer and God just lifts you up? Uh, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. That's just that's not just with salvation. That's with a lot of things that he does that with. Who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Have you ever just been in a bad situation and God just comes in and just it seems like he just saves the day? Uh, well, you'll never have that if you don't take these kinds of bad situations and remember to be thankful and, and to... And to thank God for those things. Um, so just a, a few things. Uh, the first, the first thing I really want to mention here: don't forget. Don't forget to be thankful. You know, we remember to do a lot of things. We remember to check our Facebook. We remember to check the news. We remember to, uh, you know, to well, maybe you don't, but we oftentimes remember to eat lunch and stuff like that. But uh, especially during these past couple months, many of us have been forgetting to be thankful. You know, wake up and wake up thinking about the things you you have to be thankful for, and then before you go to bed, just spend a few minutes thinking about the good things, rather than spending all day worrying about it, then dreaming about it. You're so worried about it, then waking up in the morning thinking, oh no, another day. Then you go get ready for bed, and you're just thinking about how you don't want to go to bed because of this that. Rather than all that, take the time to 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 remember to be thankful. Then another thing. When you when you teach yourself to be thankful, it changes what you see in life. Um, things can look com the same situation can look completely different to different people, and that's kind of the effects of thankfulness. It's just it it teaches your your brain to think differently. Um, another thing, thankfulness impacts your health. There, th this is th it's not good to stay cooped up in your house, worrying all the time, and just kind of griping and complaining and, and that kind of, that's not good. It's, it's not a good idea for your health, for your mental health, for your spiritual health. That's just not, not a great 
um, rut to get into. So I, I want to definitely encourage you there. Um, if you're trying to get healthier, which I mean we all should, you know, eating healthier, exercising more, all those things, great things. Uh, but add thankfulness to the mix. Add thankfulness to the mix. Um, you can you can have you can eat just a really healthy diet and just be a mean, nasty, bitter person inside. And thankfulness is something that helps us to not be that mean, nasty, bitter person. Um, so something else, it changes how you talk, how you talk, and who you talk to. And when you talk, how you talk. For instance, let me give you some examples. So first off, how you talk. Um, you will find find yourself being, oh, goodness sakes, sorry. You will find yourself uh, being able to, see that's what happens, <laughs> that's what happens when you don't turn on airplane mode before you go live. Let this be a cautionary tale to all of you. Um, uh, so it changes how you talk. Uh, when, when you talk, do you remember how sometimes it seems like, man, I'm always saying something bad. I'm always complaining about something. I'm always you know, uh, uh, talking bad about this person. Well, thankfulness changes how you talk. But then the next thing is it changes who you talk to. Instead of surrounding yourself with people who already think like you and kind of validate your bad attitudes, you'll find yourself start being around people who will be an encouragement to you and who will help lift you up. But then also, well, I think that kind of covers the third point too. Um, so another thing, what do I have... Sometimes we get in this attitude where we, where we say something like this. What, what do I have? What do I have to be thankful for? And, and the answer is, well, right there should kind of give you off a red flag. You have more to be thankful of than you realize. And so I want to encourage you to just take the time to be thankful. And remember this verse. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Not just salvation, but those other things. Those ways that he has... Um, given us peace in situations where we didn't have peace or those kinds of things who forgives all your iniquity who heals all your your diseases who redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy even in the midst of your greatest disasters he still crowns you with steadfast love and mercy the problem is sometimes we get um, very weighted down or very uh, focused on the one thing and um, it's just not a great Right to get into. So who's, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? That's obviously and clearly very much so not just talking about salvation. The psalmist has a lot of things in, in mind, and he keeps going. And I don't really want to go because the verse is 22 verses long. <laughs> so I, I don't want to be reading psalms to you all day. But my point being, um, don't forget to take the time to be thankful. Um, and uh, really just I hope you have a great rest of the day, even though it is windy. Uh, yes, I know you can have a good day even when it is windy. I don't know. I think my worst days are the windy days. I just keep remembering on Winnie the Pooh where uh, where he's walking with Piglet and Piglet keeps getting blown back. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of the day. And uh, uh, Chuck has another um, devotion that he's going to have uh, tomorrow, which is Saturday. Sorry, I'm getting a little lost on the days. <laughs> okay, see ya.